Top 10 Luxury Cars in the World Hello and welcome to new Techalot YouTube channel. So before we get started make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our future updates. Luxury cars provide increased levels of comfort, equipment, amenities, quality, performance, and status. They reflect both the status of their owners and the brand image of their manufacturer. Luxury brands have always ranked above premium brands. Traditionally, most luxury cars were large vehicles, though smaller sports-oriented models were always produced. Compact luxury vehicles such as hatchbacks and off-road capable sport utility vehicles are relatively modern trends. Number 1. Rolls-Royce Phantom The grandest and greatest luxury conveyance in motordom was replaced by Rolls-Royce in 2017 and given a glittering 5-star road test welcome by our road testers shortly thereafter. Owners will love it at least as much for the extravagant statement of wealth and status it endows and for the unmatched sense of occasion you enjoy when traveling in one. However, while many won't ever know as much, the latest Phantom is also an utter joy and a rare pleasure to drive. Its superbly comfortable and singularly isolating ride comfort can be sampled from the back seats, of course, and is like nothing else you'll encounter in a car, gently loping and deliciously indulgent feeling but also supremely quiet and smooth, despite Rolls-Royce's fitment of the latest run-flat tire technology. Yet the precision feel and the perfect weight of the car's large rim steering wheel is remarkable, likewise, the ease with which you can place such a huge car on the road. The tolerance it has for whatever rate of progress suits your trip, the supreme refinement and flexibility of its V12 engine, and the progressiveness of its throttle pedal on step off. Number 2, Bentley Flying Spur. Bentley's four-door Continental Series limousine, luxury cars, started off its modern life as the Continental Flying Spur in 2006, only dropping the nomenclature of prefix that links it with Cruise Current 2-door GT with its biggest model overhaul yet in 2014. But the Flying Spur is now in its third generation, something that's not difficult to detect from the prouder, more muscular design, which borrows heavily from the most recent, attractive Continental GT Coupe. Cruise Junior Saloon also benefits dramatically from a new platform, which was co-developed with Porsche and uses four-wheel steering and active anti-roll bars. It also better insulates the fantastically opulent cabin from their road and provides the basis for genuinely good driving dynamics. Grip, balance and steering are all noticeable improved. Of course, there is the same calling card 6.0-liter twin-turbo W12, which makes 626 bhp plus bottomless torque and fires the car to 62 miles per hour in comfortably less than 4 seconds and onto a top speed of more than 200 miles per hour. Versions of the spur equipped with Bentley's lighter, more freely revving V8 and a six-cylinder hybrid powertrain are also due. Number 3, Mercedes Maybach S650. The richest and most special car in what might be the most universally respected and admired limousine range in the world, the S650 is the modern standard bearer for Daimler's Maybach Super Luxury brand. To judge by appearances, you'd say it was at least as much S-class as Maybach, and that's the result of Daimler's strategic decision, taken a few years ago. To broaden the reach of the Maybach mark by creating Halo Maybach models across some of its more normal Mercedes passenger car ranges. The ultra-rare, Simon Cowell spec, Maybach only 57 and 62 limousines were at the same time consigned to history. And so that fact that this car is only an S-Class may be at once its biggest strength and its key vulnerability. Compared to a Rolls-Royce or Bentley, an S-Class might not cut a lot of mustard for drool-worthy curbside appeal, but being an S-Class also makes this car the recipient of the all those advanced active suspension and driver assistance technologies and helps to make it so brilliantly rich. The S650 621 bhp, 737 pounds to foot twin turbocharged petrol V12 is barely audible, and its dedication to comfort and good manners are outstanding. Number 4, Bentley Mulsanne. A limousine that's singularly aristocratic, whose presence announces itself from hundreds of yards away and whose agenda is all about serving the interests of the passenger first and the driver a definite second may sound appealing in theory. But if you suspect the reality of ownership of such luxury cars might not appeal quite as much, don't worry, because the super luxury class has something for you too, the Bentley Mulsanne. Deliberately more modest and discreet in its appearance than a certain key British limousine rival, the Mulsanne is a top-level luxury four-door. It feels less formal than the Rolls-Royce Phantom, and its interior ambience is more like that of the paneled smoking room of an old gentleman's club than the Phantom chandelier ballroom. The material quality, the luster and natural appeal of its wood veneers and the tactile allure of so many of its fittings are second to none. A good helping of driver appeal has always been part of this big Bentley's mode of character. 
And so while the Mulsanne doesn't ride quite as serenely as some of its closest competition, it handles and responds with more vigor and verve, thanks not least to its torquey turbocharged petrol V8. Number 5, Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Goodwood's Marmite addition to the super luxury car segment arrived in 2018, in response to a significant amount of Rolls-Royce customer feedback that a more daily usable, all-surface capable, family practical model would be a very welcome way to augment the firm's showroom range. The Cullinan has been met by enough criticism of its design, from all quarters, to have set in aspic a sense that its maker has taken a significant risk in introducing a car that some have described as awkward and unlovely and others have slammed in even less sympathetic terms. But if Rolls-Royce's market research holds true, and a year's worth of confirmed orders is a good sign that it will, the collective revulsion of those who wouldn't have bought a Cullinan anyway will do little to prevent it from becoming a commercial success. There is certainly as much to like about life on board this car as there might be to dislike about either the idea or the appearance of it. This is a true Rolls-Royce, and among its dynamic strengths are outstanding mechanical refinement, unimpeachable ride comfort and excellent drivability. Number 6, Bentley Bentayga. The Bentayga has had an eventful passage through the autocar road test evaluation process. Being the first in a barrage of 100,000 pounds plus super SUVs to come to market in 2016, we first rated it highly, with a caveat or two, in W12 engine form. And then rated it higher still when Bentley introduced an Audi sourced 4.0-liter, 429 bhp turbocharged diesel V8 in 2017. Which made exactly as much torque as the 12-cylinder petrol motor but at more accessible crank speeds. Then, in 2018, amid the spreading toxicity surround diesel engines, Bentley removed the Bentayga diesel from sale in Europe, and with it removed from view what we considered the definitive version of the car. A V8 petrol model augmented the model range in the same year, while a plug-in hybrid arrived in 2019. The Bentayga's wonderfully plush interior, its swell of torque-laden performance and its sense of imperious, singularly enveloping luxury make it stand out even in this class. And these qualities might even be potent enough to win over a cynic who started out opposed to the idea of living in a blue-blooded SUV. Number 7, Rolls-Royce Ghost. The Ghost luxury cars were a line in the sand for Rolls-Royce when they appeared in 2009, the beginning of a transformation that took the company's annual production volume from hundreds of to several thousand cars per year. Using mechanical underpinnings adapted from those of the BMW 7 Series, the Ghost made Rolls-Royce ownership more accessible only slightly but significantly so. The management's view now on the decision to use those BMW Group mechanicals may reasonably be imagined to differ somewhat from what it once was since the next Ghost will move on to the same all-aluminium Rolls-Royce-only platform that the Phantom and Cullinan use. While the Phantom is very much a car in which to be driven, the Ghost was intended as a car for the well-heeled driver, and its dynamic character reflects that. Slider totter riding and more agile than the Phantom, it lends itself more readily to the cut and thrust of daily motoring on traffic-clogged UK roads than its bigger brother. Number 8, Range Rover SV Autobiography. The top-rung, long-wheelbase Range Rover has come a long way as a luxury car since the Genesis days of the famous SUV upon which it's based. The modern SV Autobiography, hand-finished as it is by Land Rover at its special operations base near Coventry, is a car that's now fully 5.2 meters long and 2.6 tons in weight at its heaviest. It was conceived to take full advantage of the embryonic market for super expensive SUVs and the high regard some have for the Range Rover brand, and it does so quite effectively. Offering a choice of a petrol V8, a diesel V8 or a four-cylinder petrol plug-in hybrid powertrain, the SV Autobiography is a strict four-seater with lounge rear chairs, around each of which you can arrange a fold-out aluminium tray table, while a sliding panoramic sunroof contributes to the remarkable senses of light and space on board. The interior materials are more tactile and expensive than those of the standard Range Rover, too. Number 9, Rolls-Royce Dawn. The super-luxury four-seat convertible is a rare type of car indeed. Mercedes offers an open-top four-seat S-Class, while Bentley has had its Azure drop-top and now Continental GTC. But Rolls-Royce has, at times, offered more than one four-seater super cabriolet within its model range over the last decade. And while the convertible version of the current generation Phantom has yet to materialize, its equivalent from the smaller Ghost slash Wraith model Strata, the Dawn remains very much a part of Goodwood's model mix. The company used uncharacteristically racy terms to describe this car when it was launched in 2016, billing it as the sexiest Rolls-Royce ever built. Whether you agree or not, 
There's no denying the car's blue-blooded credentials, it uses the same platform and 6.6-liter twin-turbocharged petrol V12 as the Wraith Coupe, producing 563 bhp and 575 pounds to foot of torque, which is down from 624 bhp in Wraith tune but still enough to eclipse the vitals of the earlier Phantom Drophead Coupe. Number 10, Mercedes AMG S65L. The mechanical makeup of the top of the range performance version of the Mercedes S Class limousine luxury car hasn't changed much in more than a decade. Since this car has a Leviathan of a twin turbocharged petrol V12 that produces 621 bhp and 738 pounds to foot of torque, you could argue it hasn't needed to. It's an engine capable of sending a two and a quarter ton, 5.3 meter long, rear driven limousine from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 4.2 seconds, and that's before it's really settled down, found its legs and got going, don't forget. And yet the S65 is still a proper luxury car, with uncompromising ride comfort and refinement, which is why it gets a mention at the foot of our super luxury class rankings. It offers onboard comfort unknown to anything else of quite the same performance level, and its huge reserves of torque make it so effortlessly potent to drive that it's hard to believe how little you need to do to make something so large travel so quickly. The S65 isn't a super saloon, though, and its chassis much prefers smooth, wide roads to testing narrower ones, the latter giving its air suspension and stability control a lot to think about. Even so, when in its element, very few cars in existence manage to seem at once so naughty and so wonderfully nice as this. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go. Thank you for watching.